The Falcons host the New Orleans Saints in one of the and, and the Falcons' biggest rivalries. Now, this rivalry has lost some lust over the years because neither team has been particularly good, especially since Matt Ryan and Drew Brees retired. But still, we want to beat those dirty swamp people. There's no doubt about it. We both went to LSU, so we know way too many Saints fans. So this this one holds true to home. Uh, but beyond that, they're playing for first place in the division. And we talked all week and we talked last week during the bye week how it almost feels like we've been through seven seasons in one. And it, it's almost unbelievable that we're still sitting here talking about the playoffs, especially after losing three games to the Vikings, Cardinals and Titans. But we're here. We are here with the biggest game of the season sitting at home. We don't even know if Derek Carr is going to be playing. Marshawn Lattimore looks like he's going to be out. And Michael Thomas looks like he's going to be out. There is no reason the Falcons can't win this game. There is absolutely no reason. No, I mean, it's at home. Both teams did have a bye week, so, you know, neither of them really have a rest advantage. They're on the same amount of rest. Uh, it, I, I, there's This is total speculation. Uh, Dennis Allen didn't say anything, but it look, I think Derek Carr is going to play. He had a whole week off uh, from the concussion. Players come back from a concussion after just a week, so I think he's going to absolutely play. But it does look like Marshawn Lattimore is not going to suit up, and I think that is – as big of a hit as anybody could have uh, on this Saints defense, which is certainly a top 10 unit. Saints fans would argue top five. You're not going to have any arguments out of me. But this is a huge game for the Falcons. Arthur Smith, Desmond Ritter, his first game back since being benched, he seems to be taking it uh, in a positive way, you know, as an opportunity instead of kind of a demotion, you know, get down on yourself. He's taking it in stride. How he <laughs> how he takes that and puts it, how that translates on the field, I have no idea. You don't love, you know, a guy coming in cold uh, off the street. He did play in the second half before the bye week, uh, so he did get a little bit of burn before then. Coming against a very, very stout Saints team. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I see a lot of Falcons fans resting their hats, putting their hats on uh, a PFF ranking of the Falcons offensive line. I don't know where that's coming from. The Falcons offensive line has been at best mediocre, inconsistent, really. Uh, and this Saints defensive front is absolutely menacing. Uh, it's what we thought the Falcons front was going to be. Uh, now Grady Jarrett's gone, and now we have no semblance of a pass, pass rush anymore. Grady Jarrett's loss has been devastating to this defense. Uh, David Onyemata will be back, though. Uh, D. Alford will be back, and those are two guys that we absolutely need if we have any chance of winning this football game. And honestly, I don't think you have to do anything special to win this game. You know what you have to do? You have to do the things you weren't doing in the prior three losses. You cannot turn the ball over on critical junctures of the game. You have to tackle. I mean, Josh Dobbs and Kyler Murray single-handedly won their teams the game because the Falcons' defense could not tackle them while they were scrambling around back there like we were playing Xbox or something. I mean, you got to tackle. You got to do the simple things correctly. And, and, and the last thing I would say is Arthur Smith, man, don't overthink it. Like, don't get cute at the line of scrimmage or in the red zone just give it to B. John Robinson and let your special players do that. Just be special. I think it's real straightforward. You don't have to get any cute. You don't have to make, you know, uh, resounding changes. Well, you know, life-altering changes to win this game. And winning this game puts the Falcons in first place of the NFC South. And believe it or not, the Falcons could potentially host a playoff game after what we thought is just, you know, a throwaway season. So everything's on the line. Uh, and, you know, it's it's really hard to sit here and say that about a Week 12 game. But it is really true. We'll either be in first place of the division or we'll be three games under 500 on track for another 7-10 and 10 season, which would be supremely disappointing. Yeah, I guess the good thing is they're not facing a mobile quarterback. I mean, as, uh, yep. assuming Derek Carr is going to play, even Jameis Winston, he can make some plays with his feet, but he's not exact. He's no Kyler Murray or Josh Dobbs. I mean, I think the the formula for the Falcons winning this game is getting back to where the Falcons were winning games earlier in the season. That's running the ball and playing defense and just not turning the ball over. It's not going to be. We are not going to score 30 points against the Saints. We are not going to likely beat them by double digits. The games that we have won this year have been by single digits, usually coming on the final drive. It's about do, staying within who you are, not asking Desmond Ritter to do, do too much. He needs to make some plays when he has to. Focus on running the game ball, establish the ground game. A lot like that's – they established the ground game last year in week one against the Saints at home. Should have won uh, that Fantastically. Uh, that, that needs to be the number one goal. Do that. Play better defense than you have. I know Grady Jarrett is a huge loss, 
But I still think this group, especially with Onyemata coming back, not facing a mobile quarterback, the Saints have had their struggles of their own on offense, both running and passing the ball. So uh, you you have some opportunities to have a little get right game. You had a bye week. Uh, maybe that helps with mitigate the loss of Grady Jarrett coming up with different things schematically. So uh, it, it's just get back to your roots, man. This is this team has won one way this entire year. They have four wins. Every single one of them has been running the football and playing defense. Let's not let's not stray away from that because Desmond Ritter is not going to light the Saints defense on fire yeah. for 300 yards. You know, he, if he has a hundred, if he has 200 yards passing and you run the ball, you're probably going to win this dang game. So let's let's just do that and not turn the ball over. Uh, coming up after the break, we are going to talk. We're going to give you our best bets of the rivalry week of college football. I got a couple of them, but we only have two minutes, so we'll probably stick to one apiece. That comes up after the break. 